Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use text-to-speech on an Android device. So if it's an Android phone or an Android tablet, depending on the flavor of operating system that you have or the version of the Android operating system, it's more or less the same for most modern uh, operating Android systems. So to use it, you press the little accessibility button there at the bottom right hand corner and then you choose select to speak so then from here you go to your website or wherever you want text to have read back and you use your finger to create a nice little frame around the text minister for education norma foley has shelved plans to introduce teacher-based assessment as part of a revised senior cycle program so that's basically it so i can press pause on that Highlighting the advent of artificial intelligence. Then I can press continue and I can close it. And then I can progress on to the next section if I wish. Again, creating a nice frame, a buffer, a nice... Revised frame. curriculums in seven leaving certificate subjects due to be introduced in schools in two years. Time will not now contain... So that's basically it. Now it works for most text. In certain instances, it may not work, in particular in relation to PDF documents that you have on your phone. It may not work in that instance. But for most um, areas where you have text, to have read websites and so forth, it should work. Now, in terms of setting it up and installing, so the first thing you need to do, it doesn't come prepackaged with Android, which is a bit of a nuisance and a bit unusual. I don't know why. But what you need to do is you need to go in to the Play Store, the Android Play Store, do a search for Android Accessibility Suite, download it. In this instance, I have it already installed, but you just simply press the Install button. And once it, it installs, you need to go to your settings. So to go to settings, you have a number of ways to do that. You can search for the settings button or you can just pull down and press the little cogwheel and then scroll down through your settings until you see accessibility press accessibility and again depending on the version of android that you have in this instance to enable it you click on installed apps and then you choose select to speech to speak so i press that and since i already have it installed that select to speak shortcut button is already enabled if it's not with you you just enable it you switch it on and then you should see the select to speak there at the bottom and then you just press and choose anywhere on the screen to have text read how to use select to speak start select to speak i like the fact that it highlights the, te the text as it goes along that's one aspect that i enjoy now in terms of choosing the voice and so forth let's progress on to that so to choose the voice to have read back when you have the select to speech open press that little arrow there and press the ike the, the cogwheel configuration and from here you can choose text to speech options now this is um, an, 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 this is a matter of configuring and trialing and erroring trying out for yourself and configuring the voice that you feel is suitable the speed that you feel is suitable there's two observations that i have in regards to this the first is the speech engine now if you want to change the speech engine the the means by which the voice is being read you can go and click speech engine so i have a samsung phone and that has its own speech engine but if you wanted to use the google speech engine you choose google you go back and then you can test it this is an example of speech synthesis in english now if i go back here and try it out and let's go back again try that out how to use select to speak start select to speak then you can now, I find that the actual voice is quite convincing, but when you use the speech engine, for some reason, it gets a little bit more robotic. Again, as I said, it's all about trial and error. So if you press the arrow again and then press the settings button and text to speech. 
and if you wanted to go in then and change the actual language within that option you can go down here and choose the various uh, language options so if you wanted to read back in Finnish French Canadian etc you can choose that option as well um, and if you want to go in and change and test the voice install voice and go down to United Kingdom for instance you can download that voice United States there's a number of options here so let me just play this voice this is an example of speech synthesis in English I like that voice but again because of it because it's using the the Google engine for the text-to-speech when it trans when you use it it becomes a bit ro more robotic currently now in the future that may change and it may be more enhanced so again trial and error going back into preferred speech engine if I choose Samsung and I go back and then I press the settings in that I find the English United States within the Samsung version 4 over you can go in and change them by pressing changing the, the settings option choosing version 4 I find to be quite nice to listen back to you can go back then and play that let me just show you install voice data so you can install again this is now on the Samsung um, engine for the voice you can choose the various options so again I've downloaded English United and I've downloaded all of the United States if you want to use it to read back text in Dutch you can download the Dutch accent etc etc and just going back again you can change the pitch and the speed this is an example of speech synthesis in English and again you choose your voice your language and going back again into testing it out press the little icon select a speech How to use select to speak. Start select to speak. And Shinne, as they say in Ireland. Or oh, there you are. So that is the end of this video in showcasing the select to speech accessibility on Android. Um, it's quite effective in what it does, but it's a little it's a little bit more complex in terms of configuring in comparison to other operating systems like iOS, which is inbuilt and ready to go. But nonetheless, it is very effective as a tool so in terms of reading back text on your phone or on your tablet that is android based thank you for watching